This is the Darkest Timeline Sequencer uh, for Ornament and Crime. Darkest Timeline is a 32-step sequencer. Uh, two channels. The first channel, or timeline, is a CV timeline. This is a 0 to 5 volts coming out of output A. The lower timeline is the, C, uh, is the probability timeline. Uh, this indicates the probability of a 6 millisecond trigger firing uh, on that step. Uh, you can or use our CV uh, triggers to uh, advance the sequencer, reverse the sequencer, uh, or reset it. When you reset it, it resets to what's called the index point. So index point is, even though we're only seeing 10 steps of the sequence here, the rest of it is still in memory, and the index point can scrub through all 32 steps to indicate the starting point of those 10 steps. And that's under CV control as well. If you have a CV into uh, input 3, you can set the index point dynamically. Uh, inputs 1 and 2 set the probability, and uh, here in the CV here. The outputs, this is the output of the CV timeline. This is the probability-based uh, output of the probability timeline. Output B is the next uh, set of steps uh, in the sequence. So if you're going, if you have an eight-step sequence, uh, A plays steps one through eight, B plays steps nine through 16. Uh, and these can sometimes overlap. For example, if your sequence length is greater than 16, then A and B will overlap in places. Uh, output C is also a trigger. Uh, this is actually the complement probability of what's coming out of uh, this trigger. So if one uh, step has a 70% chance of triggering, uh, the, C, uh, the D output will have a 30% chance of triggering. And these probabilities are calculated independently, and so it is possible to have both triggers fire at the same time, even though their probabilities are different. And that's the screensaver. Thanks for watching.